Ah, in Robbins, is Venus leakage repairable naturally through food? Nope. Now, Venus leakage is a tough one to regenerate because once the veins start to leak, and what is venous leakage? Venous leakage is basically the veins are supposed to close off when we get an erection and keep the blood trapped in. Well, what happens with venous leakage is that doorway that's supposed to slam shut when you get an erection, the, the door actually leaks. And so blood is leaking back out and it makes it difficult to keep and maintain an erection. Listen, every gentleman should own a cock ring. You just should. I mean, and, and it's interesting because I'll, t I'll tell you a personal story. When I was in medical school, I had this boyfriend and he was 52, you know, so I was like 20 something and he's 52 and everybody always thought he was like my sugar daddy, but I just liked him. You know, he was so smart. He knew so much. And one of the things that was always impressive to me was that he was probably outperforming, you know, some of, some of the other people that had been around. And one of the things that he always did, and, and this was years ago, is he always kept a cock ring, right? And a cock ring can be as discreet as you want it to be, or it can be as ostentatious as you want to be. They come in different colors. They glow in the dark. They can come leather with metal studs and buttons and all type of things. But, you know, having a really decent cock ring that's quick release so that you can actually take it. And so what you're, you're doing, is, there's a variety of ways to wear them, but the big idea is that you're actually going to take it and you're going to, once you get your erection, you're basically tightening it up. This one's like a bolero. And there it is. And it keeps the blood trapped there. So it combats venous leakage. And it's just not that big of a deal. Because honestly, I feel like every guy should own one. Because it's kind of like a, a very, you know, benign way of, of getting stiffer. You don't have to take anything. You just keep one in your pocket. You can try different types. Um, I find that if you actually take it and putting it behind the testicles, like if you wrap it behind the testicles and in front and you're actually pulling it tight here, then this even makes it more prominent and more stiff. I mean, it's, it's, it's almost amazing. You can take a person who's almost 90 and make it look like he's actually in his 20s or 30s because what you're doing is you're actually pushing the blood up there. Now, I always advocate, make sure you get the quick release kind so that you can, as soon as you're done, take it off because this is like a tourniquet. And if you leave it on for more than 15 or 20 minutes, you could potentially injure things. So you've just got to be cognizant. This is not, you know, put this on, get sloppy drunk, get wasted, and then forget it's on there. This is, you know, do, 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 you know, you know, perform, show off a little bit, get your thing, and then release it. Now, one thing to keep in mind, too, is that if you put the cock ring just around the, the circumference of the, the penis, when you go to have your explosion, it may not come out because it's actually cl closing it, right? So it actually allows you to last longer, too. So, um, and there are some that leave a little cutout so that you can explode while it's on. So you kind of have to figure out, you know, what is it that you intend to do and which one's right for you. But, um, you know, th these, these are some great kinds. You know, I, I like the Bolero because it's quick release so that, you know, when you're done, you just release it and you're gone. Now, these are tricky for guys who don't um, manscape, you know, because hair can get, get caught in there and it's a problem. So try out some different kinds, figure out which one's right for you. But um, this is one of the things that I feel like every gentleman should own is a good good cock ring or two or three or four. And I'm telling you, you put your cock ring on and you show up and it's, it, you show up and show out. So consider this.